Howdy cowdies. How you going? I hope you're good. Actually do care this week. How's that? It's weekly walkabout time with the collector. We've got heaps of cool stuff. Start off in the jewellery cabinet as per usual. Currency, coins, and ephemera in that box. Some silver in there. Some silver markers. A little Nintendo Game & Watch twin screen pinballs. Pretty cool. A little sort of carved little whalebone pendant or something's nice with a little green tiki. Sterling silver box there with a the butterfly wing. Got a nice bangles, bit of lucite and probably bakelite or something. It's nice as well, a little um, continental silver, probably the Scandinavian little bracelet. Yeah, so we got some cool watches, Casio data banks and other stuff, vintage Star Wars men. Nice big 1985 Australian sort of made Aboriginal sort of necklace there is a bit unusual. Some cool little bits in the jewellery cabinet. And else have we got? Nice little deco table. Nice little sort of Victorian little chest of drawers there with little barley twists down the side. Nice bar mirrors. Like this little Victorian sort of side table with a central column. Little Eddie style pine bedside. He's really nice as well. The Bentwood chair up the top there. Singer sewing machine in the cabinet's cute. Got some aircraft ephemera, stamps, some pretty cool old stickers and stuff in amongst here. Watches, this is all sort of motoring stickers, Datsun Corner in Oakley and Repco and Shell and all that sort of stuff. Uh, nice little phone table with some scales. Uh, so we've got uh, toolbox and contents here. Some records, Donny Osmond, huh? Too young. Yeah, he was. Posters, some lingerie, blokey gear, 70s sort of metal stuff, some cool t-shirts. I think it's Australian Test Centenary t-shirt from 1977 in amongst there, Australia versus England. It's pretty cool. Clayton Cricket Club Scorpions. Some cool gents shirts. This one over the back with the frilly fronts, pretty amazing. Uh, nice Winville, uh, Sackville uh, windbreaker jacket. American vinyl, some ladies' coats, leathers, furs, some fur stoles, etc. Cool big pair of riding boots down the bottom there. All right, some retro sort of rugs and bags and some really terribly colourful wigs. A little blouse chest is cute. This is pretty cool. It's an old uh, shotgun powder crate with some bits and bobs in it. Bookends, some nice lights, CDs and other gear. Uh, pottery and ceramics and a signed Kenneth Jack print, oil cans, sort of retro -y clocks and tables and stuff, spray cans and bottles and old cans of Fanta, books, it's nice the art of advertising in amongst three boxes there. Now so we got games, big group lot with sewing machines and stuff, more big groups of gear down underneath lighting and stuff. Now so we got my Heritage, nice little sort of dressing table there with a matching bedside. More bar mirrors, nice little dual turntable with a pitch shifter. DVDs. Jewellery, silver plated gear over the back's a nice big lot. Kind of cool, looks to be like a Native American rug. Lots of furniture. Some nice antique reference books and military stuff. Some cool DVDs, all British and Australian comedies. Funny little amplifier at the top. Pretty cool, big sort of 1950s wall hang there of a bather. What else have we got, guys? Cabinet stuff, big lots of pottery, big lots of blue and white down the bottom, costume jewellery, marbles. It's all cool sort of pin-up girl, bikini girl stuff, magazines and glasses. Stereo gear. Pretty cool retro armchair there. Now we've got a nice little retro coffee table, he's cute, the 1930s print, smoke machine and a fibre optic lamp. Really like this trunk, we all like this, lovely big bit of camper wood. A little piano stool's nice as well. Cabinet, a little stereo system's pretty cute. Looks to be a Pioneer amplifier, nice little turntable in there, nice little teak cabinet with the matching speakers. More radios. And more sort of china and stuff, Barbie dolls, toys, Lois White pottery, two shelves full. 
Another nice big light of blue and white. David Armfield all painting up the top there. Little Matthew James McNally's quite nice. This is really sweet. Little Lewis Neville, little British watercolour. I think he painted out in New Zealand and Australia. This one's got a labing, uh, framing label on the back from Christchurch. Little Australian school piece is quite cute. Little Brad Boyd over the back. He used to play footy for Fitzroy, didn't he? Or Footscray. This is nice. I like this. The Nicholas Heiderreich. He's a potter. I don't see many of his paintings around. Really kind of like it. Nice and sort of thick. There's about, you know, 15 tubes of paint on that. Nice thing. And the James Wigley as well of the Aboriginals seated. And a really nice example of his work. Nice little dining suite here. Shit, I think we've got to enter that. I don't think that's been entered, the dining suite. Oh, we've got another lot for the auction. Uh, more bar mirrors. Some lightings, lampshades. Pretty cool little pair of ones down the bottom there. This is really nice. The Morris chair. I think it's going to be the what's it worth for this week. Lovely sort of period upholstery or modern period upholstery. Really nice. It's got all adjustable backrest on it there. Lovely sort of bit of oak. Bit unusual with the sort of high backrest. Lovely thing. Another nice little radio. Interesting sort of porcelain, Victorian porcelain candelabra. What else have we got? More blue and white and stamp albums, radios, Chapara style bronze. She's nice. Little Edwardian plasterware. Royalty, oriental sort of reference books. Stoppers, jewellery, old World War II newspapers, blue and white radios. It's a good little lot of sort of blokey stuff, calculators and sort of old Casio voice recorders and stuff. China, radios, pubinalia, boxing helmet, Olympic gear, with a lot of toys, a stamp album, green glass, nice Crown Lynn Retro New Zealand dinner set, Tonka, Polaroid. Watches, with a lot of glass and sort of other bits and bobs and bookends and radios. Donald the Quackers, heaps of shells and a nice carved tribal bowl. Big pottery vase there with a big bowl, they're both marked. Pretty cool, the Baronia poster there. Some flags, I think you got a big Ferrari one. And I reckon the other ones there are Stakilda Footy Club ones. Another nice radio, a couple of bits of pottery. What's the square thing? Doug Alexander over the back, pretty cool bit. It's got a little chip out of the side. Uh, more green glass, he's pretty cool. The world time clock, orifice glassware, more bar mirrors, more blue and white, good lot of English and other china, Shelley, mailing ware, Grimwades, Denby, Carlton ware, camera gear, another radio, more English Carlton ware and stuff, nice lot of retro gear, voltmeter, cool old flags. There you go, the 15th hole sign, par 4, 300 metres. Bar mirror, it's from Swan Hill apparently. A couple of boxes, glassware, records and other stuff. Australian pottery, it's a good little box of packaging and stuff like that. The old Warwick Fly roller skates. Little Citizen portable TV. The Metallica box set with the videos, not DVDs in it. What else have we got? Another nice radio up the top. Big vintage Tonka toys, pretty cool. This is a pretty cool old fire hose nozzle. Let's chuck him down the bottom there. Uh, what else have we got? That'll sort of do for there. Art Deco glass. Price Kensington Cottage. The Bakelite little canister set. Arabia. Sort of modern Japanese vase over the back's a bit unusual. Another nice little radio. German porcelain. Chinese hand painted stuff. Brettby and Lovett's English. Some nice little bits of signed art glass. Dalton Countessa, more green, Spode, Stamps, Radio, some amazing sort of road safety posters in there from the 1950s they look to be, it's a nice 16mm uh, film camera, some Eastern sort of brass gear, Reg Preston cups and saucers, World War II Ingl uh, American pilot's goggles, really nice folder over the back full of ephemera and paperwork, Royal Worcester, green glass, this is a nice Van Nichol set. Nice little bit of Noritake there with a little sort of pheasant bird on the top. There he is. A couple of bits of uranium glass. Another nice Allen Lowe little sort of drink set, carafe set. And some nice bits up the top. Big Rage Preston pot. Don Reeford. 
Vic Greenaway, the big charger is unsigned, but it's a nice big bit of Australian pottery. Alan Lowe, a little reproduction bronze. The two spelters over the back are original. And who's this pot, um, Mark? This British thing? PFB? Peter Francis Beard. There you go, English sort of potter. Nice little bit in amongst all the stuff this week. Ah, uh, you know me, I could sort of ramble on and talk more shit, but that'll do. There's more pottery and ceramics and sort of glassware and toys, ephemera. And this is a good little bit. A little France camp screen print. Figuration in a garden. Really nice thing, 1965, nice early date on it. And that'll do. Anyway, hopefully you saw something you liked. See you guys on Thursday night. All the heaters will be on.